When you think about Martinsville, there's a lot of things you think about. Grandfather clocks, beating and banging sparks, and Clarence's Steakhouse. And Peyton Sellers is in the Clarence's car. Any extra pressure coming here with Clarence's on the car, knowing the history they have at Martinsville? You know, I'm pretty fortunate. Clarence doesn't apply much pressure, but uh, you put it on yourself when you come to Martinsville in orange and white 26. So we've had good cars here. We've never been able to win the race, but we've had good, good cars here. And, you know, I think this year is shaping up to be another good car for us. And we just got to be in the right place at the right time. How was your test session tonight? What'd you learn? What'd you find? Saw you late in the session thrashing on something looked like power steering. Yeah, we had a lot of different things going through there. We were just trying to cool the motor down good to make one last qualifying run tonight. And, uh, you know, we, we changed a lot of stuff. And at the end of the day, we have a lot to go back and digest throughout the next couple of days to try to get a game plan for next weekend. So we wanted to run through some different things. And time was getting short on us. The track was changing a lot, too. When the track, you know, from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock and, and even into 8 or 9 o'clock there, the track changed a lot. And we've got to figure out now whether it was the car is putting more rubber down or the cooler temperatures in the, in the track not having any sunlight temperature in it. That was my next question. A lot of people love the lights. Some people told me, you know, big reaction when the lights came on. Some told me not a big deal. So how do you make that decision? What are the things you look at to figure out if it's rubber, if it's the car, if it's the lights, if it's a combination of everything? It's a combination of everything, and I don't think we'll truly know. You know, this track always packs in rubber on the bottom groove throughout the race. I don't think you'll see that now with the night racing, and I can't tell you why. I just don't think you'll see it. We didn't see any of it tonight. How much does that actually change the race car, and for that matter, the racetrack? Quite a bit. You know, it really makes the front end get a chatter in the front end and slide up, and a lot of guys kind of try to di take different lines through the corner to get through it to get more turn through the middle of the corner. And uh, this time we're just going to be pretty much flat out because the motors are running really good right now. The gear rule, they change the gear rule a little bit throughout practice there, and a lot of guys are trying to fine-tune their cars to that too. So, um, you know, I, I appreciate NASCAR kind of listening to the drivers and, and taking it all into consideration before they made a change. So I think they made a change for the better to make the racing better. Now we just got to get our cars retuned to the new gear combination. Overall, what kind of horse do you think you've got on a scale of 1 to 10 coming back next weekend? You know, I'm going to say we're a 7 or 8 right now. We just have to make those right changes, those little changes, and, and there's 50 cars here the same way. You know, there's, there's five good cars, there's 20, you know, bad, bad cars, and the rest of them are right there together. Well, we'll see how it all plays out for Peyton Sellers and the Clarences gang. One thing's for sure, they're not going to rest until that car is either right or they run out of time.